morning, everyone. Eminent Sir, Cardinal Caroline, uh, dear Chancellor, Eminent Sir, Cardinal Toxen, colleagues, friends, uh, I'm pleased to welcome you and open this workshop. With this workshop, we look back to the evolution of uh, quantum theory and quantum mechanics, and we look into current applications and future opportunities. This workshop is convened in part to recognize historic achievements, especially in view of the fact that some of the founders of quantum mechanics were members of this academy. Max Planck, Erwin Schrödinger, Niels Bohr joined the academy in the 1930s. Heisenberg, Louis de Broglie, and Paul Dirac um, in the 1950s and 1960s. But let us also remember those who are rarely acknowledged, such as Ms. Grete Hermann. She was first to write about deficiencies in von Neumann's uh, Mathematische Grundlagen der Quantenmechanik um, in the 1930s. Quantum mechanics changed the way we think about reality, introducing fundamental limits on what can be known about a physical system, limits that were inconceivable to pre-quantum thinkers. Ladies and gentlemen, um, in the Pontifical Academy of Science, we are very supportive of basic science, of basic science. Our plenary conference last year had the theme, basic science for human development, peace and planetary health. We relate our consultations on science to large human and planetary issues, be it health, environment, food, climate change, AI and robotics, the understanding of the universe. We are interested to support interdisciplinary research and we foster openness of the science landscapes around the world. I therefore welcome the international composition of this gathering in particular. Through its influence on science and technology, the quantum revolution has touched on many issues of modern life. I find it important that the public good opportunities in quantum uh, physics uh, are supported. So public-private partnership and focusing on public goods aspect. As physicists develop mathematical clarifications for measurement as interventions, order effects, contextuality, all this has implications for other fields where these effects may be relevant. I hint at four fields. There may be insights from quantum mechanics for cognition and quantum approaches to consciousness. Two of broad interest are also insights related to entanglement. Four, cutting across disciplines is the implication of observer-dependent reality, very well known in other fields of science, psychology, social science. And contextuality is a fundamental notion in quantum theory. It also matters a lot, for instance, in complex systems such as health systems. I want to thank the Pontifical Academy's academicians, Wanderlei Bagnato and Bob Phillips, for initiating and designing this important workshop. The predictions were correct. The interest in this workshop are phenomenal. You are testimony of that. You all came here. I want to thank uh, Sister Miriam and others in the Secretariat for the organization and management. Now it's my honor to ask State Secretary of the Vatican, His Eminence, Cardinal Parolin, to address us. Thank you for your attention.